Hi student, this is Vokumar, 11th Standard Mathematics, Chapter No. 2, Continuation of Exercise 2.4, now problem number 9. Without sketching the graphs, find whether the graphs of the following functions will intersect the x-axis and if so, in how many points, three subdivisions are there. First one y that is equal to x square plus x plus 2 and second one y that is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 7 and the third one is y that is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9. You can do one by one. Here is subdivision number 1. We know very well if the curve intersects the x axis, the equation of x axis will be 0. x axis equation for your reference I write y that is equal to 0. So, what is the equation of x axis y that is equal to 0. So, substitute y that is equal to 0 in equation number 1 let it be number 1. When y that is equal to 0 equation 1 implies x square plus x plus 2 that is equal to y can be replaced by 0. Now we can factorize if it is possible. Coefficient of x squared equals 1, 1 into 2, 2, product 2, sum 1. Product 2, sum 1, not possible. It cannot be factorized. Then in that case, you can go for that formula x that is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a. x that is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac whole divided by 2a that's the formula so which implies here I write uh, i write the values of a b c a b and c a is a coefficient of x squared 1 b is a coefficient of x that is also 1 and c is a constant term 2 so 1 1 2 substitute here minus b b values 1 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac x that is equal to b value that is 1 1 squared minus 4 into a values 1 and c value that is 2 divided by 2 into a a values 1 so minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 1 are 4 4 2 are 8 divided by 2 1 minus 8 that is equal to minus 7. So, minus 1 plus or minus root of minus 7 by 2. I continue here. x that is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of minus 7 divided by 2. If negative value is inside the square root, the roots are imaginary. So, which implies the roots are imaginary. No real roots. Therefore, the given curve does not intersect the x axis. Therefore, the given curve or equation 1 does not intersect the x axis for the reason the roots are unreal unreal means imaginary subdivision number one is completed now subdivision number two if the curve intersects the x axis you know the equation of x axis y that is equal to zero let it be number one when y that is equal to 0 equation 1 implies x squared minus 3x minus 7 that is equal to y y value 0. Here we can factorize if it is possible. 1 the coefficient of x squared is 1 1 into minus 7 minus 7 product minus 7 some minus 3 the two numbers no chance at all. So, it cannot be factorized in that case we can go for that quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac whole divided by 2a a b c 
a that is equal to 1 coefficient of x squared is a1 b that is equal to coefficient of x that is minus 3 and c is a constant term minus 7 1 minus 3 minus 7 can substitute minus of minus 3 b values minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 the whole square minus 4 into 1 into c values minus 7 divided by 2 into 1 that is equal to minus into minus plus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 the whole square is 9 minus into minus plus 4 ones are 4 4 sevens are 28 divided by 2 3 plus or minus square root of 37 divided by 2 here we have two different values of x x plus sorry 3 plus root 37 by 2 another one is 3 minus root 37 by 2 therefore the given curve i write the result over here therefore the given curve intersects the x axis at two points what are they x that is equal to this is x correct x that is 3 plus root 37 by 2 comma y y value is 0 and next one is 3 minus root 37 by 2 comma y value 0 so two different points now subdivision number 3 Since uh, if uh, the curve, the graph intersects the x-axis, you know that the equation of x-axis is y that is equal to 0. Uh, let it be equation number 1, when y that is equal to 0, equation 1 implies replace y by 0 over here, x squared plus 6x plus 9 that is equal to y, y that is equal to 0. If it is possible, you can factorize the coefficient of x squared is 1, 1 into 9 is 9 and the coefficient of x is 6, product 9 sum 6, the two numbers are 3 and 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 into 3 is 9. Since it is an equation, you can find the values of x directly, x that is equal to, consider the coefficient of x squared, what is here? 1 change the sign that 1 becomes minus 1 right in the denominator. This is a shortcut method. Here 3 divided by minus 1 that is equal to minus 3. Again 3 divided by minus 1 is minus 3. So, you write twice. Therefore, the given curve, given curve intersects the x axis at x that is equal to minus 3 y that is equal to 0 so minus 3 comma 0 exactly at only one point minus 3 comma 0 so question number 9 is completed i'll be teaching the last problem that is problem number 10 in the next video thank you children